How was your pro day? How'd that go? It was great. You know, a lot of scouts came out. It was, it was good being back, you know, with fellas with Team 144, you know, seeing other uh, my guys compete. Um, and I feel like I killed it, man. So great day. Okay, very good. And so what it was what was it like to see all your your friends and teammates once again? It was great. It was, it was great seeing them just because, you know, everything happened so fast after the natty, right? Like as soon as we won, we came back. Yeah, we had a parade, but then boom. You know, everyone was, you know, off to Dallas or off to, you know, Florida or Arizona, wherever they may have been training. So we didn't really get to talk much, you know. So being back, you know, this whole week, we've all been coming in and training together. Uh, and, you know, we're all chasing the same dream. So, you know, it, it was great, you know, seeing the fellas and, and being back uh, in Schimbeckler Hall. So your own, like, de facto homecoming is what you're saying. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a homecoming that – it was a quick homecoming, right? You know, homecomings usually happen – you know, a little while after, but, you know, it was about eight weeks, but it was a homecoming for sure. And uh, they, uh, my, my, my teammates, they killed it today. You know, I'm really happy with, you know, how today went. So now that you're a couple of months removed, um, Blake, um, and almost to the day, as a matter of fact, of the national championship game, what are, what are your recollections of this run? For you? Uh, it, it was an amazing run, man. A lot of adversity, though. Uh, a lot of adversity was, was sent, you know, our way, but, I'm so glad, you know, I was able to come on the show and, and tell, you know, everyone, uh, especially, you know, the Michigan fans that I was coming back to win a natty. And, you know, the team, we we bought into the process. You know, we bought into that brotherhood and the culture. And, you know, we worked our butts off. And, you know, when everyone, when every, it seemed like everyone was against us, you know, we stood tall, you know, with, with ourselves, with our fan base. And we just kept pushing and we reached our end goal. And I was a natty. And, you know, no one can take that away from us. And, uh, you know, we're going, we went down in history, and uh, now it's, you know, time for another Michigan, you know, team to repeat what we did, but try to be better than us. But it, it was amazing, man. Well, you know, I want to get to that before I uh, before we end this interview that's just gotten started with Blake Corum here on the Rich Eisen Show. And so what happened for you? Walk me through your personal itinerary after that national championship game and what you have been up to to get ready for yeah. the draft here. Yeah, for me, it was locked in, you know, locked in on, you know, that next step, the next step in my journey, which is the NFL, you know, preparing for the combine. So I was down in Florida training at uh, Pete Marmorito's um, down in Aventura, uh, Miami, and it, it was great just working my tail off. There was a bunch of, you know, other NFL athletes down there training, so I got to chop it up with them, you know, pick their brains a little bit. But I've just been working my butt off, you know, getting ready, like I said, for combine and going back. And not even doing no more combine training, just training, you know, real football stuff for pro day, which we had today. And so, you know, I've just been, you know, meeting with different coaches, you know, just trying to get an idea where I might go. But ultimately, you know, it's up to God at the end of the day. And, you know, whatever team, you know, sees that, you know, I fit best, best believe they're going to get a great player, you know, someone that just cares about winning. Um, so uh, you know, that's that's what I've been doing, you know, after uh, we won that natty. So what what were some of the combine interviews like? What did they ask you at these interviews? They, they, were, they were great. You know, uh, for me, it was more just, you know, talking ball. You know, I don't – there was no character issues. There was nothing we really needed to go deep in about. Uh, so every time, you know, I would have an interview, whether it had been formal or informal, you know, we're watching film. You know, I'm drawing up plays. You know, we're getting to know each other a little bit. Uh, so it, it was great. You know, they're telling me, you know, things I could work on, you know, or what do I think I need to work on. And me, you know, being – that I, hide, I hold myself to a high standard, you know, I think my whole game can get better, right? So, um, you know, the, the interviews have been great, you know, with the time's ticking, you know, so now, you know, that pro day is over. I'm excited to, you know, see what top five teams, you know, might might have me come, you know, draft night or draft day, whenever, you know, my name uh, will be called. So Blake Horm here, uh, fresh off the field at uh, University of Michigan Pro Day right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, have you visited personally with any teams yet at their facilities? Uh, not at their facility. Uh, I have uh, one coming up, and then, you know, you have some local days that you might hit. But, sure. Uh, Who do you have coming up? Where are you going? I'm going to uh, L.A., going to L.A. Los Angeles uh, as in the Chargers. Is what you're saying? The Chargers. Who do you know? Uh, who, do you, uh, who do you know there? Do you know somebody there? <laughs> Blake? I, th I think, uh, you know, I might know someone there. Uh, you know, I'm excited to go out, you know, talk to Coach Harbaugh, talk to, you know, the new staff that I don't already know um, and see what it's like out there. But, uh, you know, I've had uh, meetings, um, 
you know, all week, you know, in person, mm -hmm. you know, I've had, I've had dinners, you know, lunches. And so, uh, you know, I've got to, you know, chop it up with a bunch of great men, great coaches. Uh, but that is, you know, my one, you know, top 30, they call it. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about, you know, other meetings I have coming up, local days. Uh, I'll be going to the Lions and the Ravens local day. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited, uh, you know, to keep, you know, going on this journey and come, you know, whether that be the 25th, the 26th, 27th, whenever. Uh, best believe, you know, I, I can't wait to find out where I'm going and whatever team gets me. And, you know, I, some people might say, oh, of course, Jim's going to have him mm -hmm. out, you know, um, but I'll, I'll also tell you some I, I'm I'm a little surprised because, I mean, what does he what do, what does he not know about you? Right. Or does he just want to introduce you to everyone around? Like, what do you think? What What do you think is going to be getting out of that? Obviously, he knows exactly who you are. He knows exactly what yeah. you can bring to the program here. Right. It's yeah. I think uh, obviously uh, different running back coach. Um, right. And they didn't really necessarily meet with us at the combine. Got it. Coach already knows all of us, right? So, uh, so you know, just to meet you know everyone else, get to meet everyone else. Uh, you know, maybe check out their new facility that uh, okay. I heard they're building, um, and just see what the environment is like in case you know I do end up you know being uh, out there with Coach Harbaugh. But at this point, you just never know. Of course, you, might, you know. Wouldn't that be something though? No, that that'd be that'd be crazy. That that honestly would be crazy. It'd be really crazy if I picked up the phone and I hear, you know, who's got it better than us, right? <laughs> so uh that that'd be crazy. But uh, you know, I'm I'm going into this process like I, I know there's a right fit for me. And I know there's a team that, you know, really want me. There might be a couple of teams that really want me in. You know, I promise these teams, like, they're going to get everything, you know, out of me for sure. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.